Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe we are at week 14? Without further ado, check out what I have for you. I gotta be honest, it's gonna be quick. Ladies and gentlemen, I did not like the book. I did not like the book. I did not like the book. And I read 35 pages a day, hoping that at some point I was going to understand this book. I finished it and I still don't understand it. But here's what I do know. I do know that when you have parents that suffer from any disease and you choose not to go to a 12 step program to heal from that, you're going to have problems. I believe that the author needs to attend a 12 step program to still heal. I think he thinks he believes that by writing this book, there was closure. As you know, I come from a long line of alcoholics and druggies, and I am an advocate of 12 step programs. I attend al now meetings myself. You cannot heal from your past by writing about it and not having a solution because those memories are going to show up every day and you need a system and a program and a structured format to organize this long life of chaos. These things that only you and your family understand, all of the codependent issues that you have developed because of this person's illness. So what I would suggest, instead of reading this book, instead of taking your time to attempt to understand what took place, just go to a 12 step meeting that matches whatever it is that you have experienced from a family member, aunt, uncle, cousin, father, sister, brother, grandparents, great grandparents. I believe everyone can benefit from a structured 12 step system. That's my recommendation. Skip the book and go to a meeting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. But before I get out of here, just remember, if it's possible for me, it's possible for you. Watch what we can do in 52 and get your butt to a meeting. You know you need to go to a meeting. I'll see you guys next week. Adios.